Yo, today on Passport Kings, we're discussing Akon, his achievements, his city in Senegal, and his vision of the world and Africa. Engage. Travel is my passion, passion, passion. PassportKings.com Your travel lifestyle will never be the same again. My name is Rock Lynn. I'm a travel advisor. I make Passport Kings travel videos to inform, review, and excite you about vacation destinations and other travel related information. If this is a topic you like, consider subscribing to Passport Kings and ring the bell so you can get notifications every time I upload new content. Akon has been a true inspiration to people all over the globe. What started out as a basic rap career has exploded into something that I've never seen in my lifetime. Two of his songs were very popular when I first moved to Atlanta. One about him being locked up and they won't let him out. And the even more popular, because I'm a rider, I'm a soul survivor. Nah, that was the duo that he made with uh, Atlanta's hometown hero, Young Jeezy. Many people, including myself, thought he was just a one-hit wonder guy and would disappear shortly. Man, were we wrong. Akon's real name is so long that I'm not going to even attempt to pronounce it. I'll just spell it out on the screen. His music career saw five Grammy nominations, two multi-platinum songs, and over ten platinum songs. He produced for Snoop Dogg, Lionel Richie, Michael Jackson, Whitney Houston, and others. He also discovered the incredibly successful pop artist Lady Gaga. There are countless other achievements in his music career that I won't name here. After all of those achievements, you would think he was done, but nah, he was just getting started. Akon was just beginning his path of changing the world. He started two projects called the Confidence Foundation, which was a charity for underprivileged children in Africa, and then there's the Akon Lighting Africa. The project provides electricity in 18 African countries and employs over 5,000 people. And that was the last count, but I'm sure there's a whole lot more by now. Akon says they have reached over 1 million households in Africa with their lighting project. The employees, newly trained, were mainly young people who install and maintain solar equipment. Akon has provided a much needed service, lights, and jobs. It's a win-win. You would think that is enough, right? Wrong. Make sure you watch to the end of my video so you can upload my ebook on how to make money online in the travel industry. And if you haven't yet, click subscribe and press the notification bell. So this week, January 2020, Akon has finalized plans to build a 2,000 acre city in Senegal called Akon City. On Twitter Monday, he posted, just finalized the agreement for Akon City in Senegal. Looking forward to hosting you there in the future. The eco-friendly Akon City will be right outside of Dakar. After fully realized, the city will definitely become one of the main attractions to visitors to Africa. The vision of Akon City was made possible by his Akon Lighting Africa initiative and a coin. A coin is a uniting cryptocurrency that is available in over 54 countries in Africa. His website, acoin.io, says this currency was created to stimulate and support youth entrepreneurship, economic stability, and growth across Africa. The city in Senegal is planned to be the first of many. Under the current filing, it has a 10-year deadline to be finished. I, for one, want to be one of the first tourists from America to touch down in his city. This news is very exciting for people who love to travel. Senegal is not a random pick of the city's location. Although Akon was born in St. Louis, he spent a very large part of his childhood in Senegal. From age seven, his family had him moving back and forth between Senegal and New Jersey. I guess the back and forth made a mental light bulb appear, pun intended, when he noticed what Senegal was lacking in comparison to New Jersey. I wonder if his entire path to success was a ploy just to get to this goal. Akon is a success story unlike anything I've ever heard of or felt connected to. On a recent interview with The Real, a daytime talk show, Akon just randomly blurts out, a lot of people don't really know, but I'm literally advising 30 African presidents as we speak. To me, it is very hard to imagine, but extremely inspirational to hear about. Some random kid from New Jersey creating so much success for himself and positively affecting the world on such a large scale. The guy is only two years older than me, and when I say he has his own money, I mean he has his own money. He even had a major obstacle. Akon spent four years in prison as part of an auto theft ring back in 2002. In jail, a person will be considered a zero. This dude got out and went from zero to 100 real quick. One thing super impressive is the fact that he attaches his name to all of his projects. 
most of the time that's a big no-no because it would usually cause haters to be especially vicious and stubbornly non-supportive to everything you're doing. His name, although it's just his rap name, does not stop people from supporting him. The biggest complaint I hear from the do nothing but complain from the sideline keyboard militants is he receives a lot of funding from China and is playing a vital role in China's neo-conquest of Africa. And maybe those concerns are valid to an extent, but as long as he's getting the kind of work done that only one in probably a billion humans will ever do, I, nor the haters, are in any position to be telling him how he should be running his business. Now go to www.passwordkings.com to download my free ebook called Make Money Online So You Can Travel More. All you have to do is join my mailing list. Also, I just connected my PayPal account to my YouTube account. So if you would like to donate to the channel in order to keep the content fresh, go to the Passport Kings homepage on YouTube and click on the PayPal button on the banner at the top. I would really appreciate it. I'll also leave the link in the description. Now, Akon is an inspiration to anyone who wants to achieve large scale goals. The story almost seems impossible, but this dude is not letting any haters online or obstacles stop him from literally changing the world in a good way. On this Martin Luther King weekend, let's toast it up and give the man flowers while he's still here to smell them. If you have goals that seem too hard, complicated, or far-fetched, let the mere idea of Akon City inspire you to get up if you've been knocked down, dust yourself off and reframe any thoughts about past failures as just learning experiences, and get back out there to change the world like a king of Passport Kings. Jeez.